Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about FBI profiler Jim Clement's opinion on the four Idaho murders. Jim said, the murderer who ruthlessly slaughtered four University of Idaho students is likely a younger man and a first-time killer. This is an extremely risky crime for the offender, unless he knows one or more of the victims or he's been stalking one of them, he told the Post on Wednesday. Going into an occupied dwelling with six young adults, any of whom could have had a knife or a gun or a cell phone to call the police, is extremely risky unless you know the circumstances inside. The former FBI profiler feels certain the killer is a man and pointed out they must be comfortable with blood to be able to fatally stab four people in quick succession. And he might be a hunter or work as a butcher. He doesn't mind the wet work or getting his hands dirty and his profession will probably say the same thing, he said. Clement said he believes it was a targeted attack, but that the killer may not have known which room exactly the person was going to be in. They may have stopped at four victims because they got to their intended victim, noting it was likely not a random attack. I don't think he's the experienced killer. I don't think this guy's done this before. Adding that the stabber may have been motivated by revenge or rejection or some kind of insult. Pete, a security consultant and former FBI agent, agrees with Clement. I feel the subject may be a young, unsophisticated person because the crime scene was apparently massive, he told the Post. Going into an unoccupied home where there were six people in different rooms in the middle of the night is pretty dangerous. Clement thinks the authorities have a lot of work against them because in addition to the offender likely fleeing town after the killing and getting a nine-hour head start before the alarm was raised, students also followed suit out of fear. That's a big problem because potential suspects and witnesses are now gone. Somebody in this community knows him, he insisted. This is the article it was posted in if you'd like to read it for yourself. And I also want to share a few things that Mary Ellen, a former FBI profiler, also shared in an interview that she has done as well. Investigators said that the victims were targeted, and that's a behavioral term that has a lot of meaning to me. So the question is, how are they making that determination? And were they all equally targeted? The way that assessment has to be made is to see if any of the victims were treated differently in that crime scene. In other words, if one victim received more injuries or was treated differently. Whoever this was, was very efficient with this knife. He was able to complete four homicides and then leave the scene. That tells me this person has experience with that knife. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon to get notifications for when I post.